Charles for Premier Guitar at the LA Amp Show 2011. I'm here with Jeff of Cosm Guitars. How you doing, man? Doing okay. And uh, Jeff's got some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, definitely some of the most unique guitars at the show. Um, what is behind all these designs, man? They are unique indeed. Interesting shapes. Well, I'm trying to get away from the uh, stereotypical flat guitars of the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love those guitars. I happen to own a Stratocaster and a Telecaster, but um, after 50s or 50 or 60 years of the same old flat guitars, I thought it might be time to try something different. So I'm trying to get away from flat guitars, make them a little more ergonomic, uh, with a little more curvature, uh, so they actually conform to the human body, uh, make them organic. Uh, you know, there's very few things in nature that are perfectly flat, um, so why aren't guitars, you know, why aren't they more curved and organic like the human body is and whatnot. So that's the basic idea, trying to get away from flatness and see where it, where it might lead to. Has it been a lot of trial and error as you go through the design process? A little bit. Um, it's taken me a while to kind of uh, move on to the, the three major models I have right now. I started with a design that was fairly, uh, you might say, controversial, kind of pushing the edge, um, has a definite uh, female form to it, but it was a good uh, learning experience, um, a good experiment, and uh, it kind of showed me that, hey, you could actually make guitars on a three-dimensional basis, and so from there I've kind of gone to more conventional body styles and body shapes. Why don't you show some of those and tell us a little bit about uh, what kind of design considerations went into them. Okay, well, um, I'll, start, I'll start with this one. This is a uh, what I call the AW for arched wave. So uh, if you get a side view of that, you can kind of see it's got a kind of a wavy form to it going this way, but it also has kind of a curvature going this way. But it's basically uh, founded upon a, a Stratocaster kind of design with the three single coil pickups, five-way selector switch. This one has a hard, hard tail stop. Um, so uh, it lends itself really nice to the, the curvature and, org and uh, ergonomics, as you can see. That whoops, watch, watch your head there. Um, can, just hug us, hugs up to your body real nicely there, and it's uh, fairly lightweight. They're uh, they're all chambered bodies. They're uh, they have a solid uh, mass of wood in the middle, but the outside areas are actually pre-chambered. They've got pockets in them, so it makes it lighter. And I think it also adds to the overall resonance and character of the, the guitar. What kinds of woods do you tend to use? Uh, a variety. This one actually has uh, maple in the middle, followed by two strips of uh, ribbon mahogany, and it has uh, ash on the outside. So I think the maple gives it a nice kind of a solid foundation, a nice good uh, sustain, and the, uh, the ash kind of warms it up a little bit. Yeah. So it gives, gives you a nice, uh, nice balance. Looks pretty labor-intensive, given all the compound contours and all that. Is that true? Well, it is for the computer and for my computerized CNC, but... Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I, I enjoy doing it. It's the, the art behind it, which is kind of fun and easy, but the machine has the hard part, so. Right. Okay. So you got a couple others over here? Yeah, so, um, so this is uh, more or less based on a, uh, a Telecaster, um, but it has the same basic kind of curved elements working for it. Um, Four-way selector switch, but a definite uh, nod to a Fender Telecaster uh, neck. It's got a real nice uh, spank to it, nice uh, treble sound to it. Um, so it's got, uh, again, it's got chambers, two exposed chambers, two sealed chambers. So it's got a real nice, uh, nice, nice buzz to it, nice sound to it. And then uh, the last model is the one we saw Tony playing over here, which is uh, more of a nod to uh, the Gibson Land, uh, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, uh, mahogany neck, uh, two humbuckers, three-way selector switch, and the, uh, the more Gibson-esque uh, bridge and hard stop. So, well, should we give this a listen over here? Comfy, Anthony? Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. 
So uh, what else do you have brewing in the works? Any new models? Or? Uh, that's, that's it for right now. I've been pretty busy trying to push these models and uh, get them up to speed. Um, I want to incorporate a uh, tremolo bar eventually and play with some other pickups. But uh, for right now, I'm focusing on more of the mainstream uh, DiMarzio pickups and uh, kind of mainstream neck, neck geometries. But uh, more things coming down the pike in, in time. Well, if folks aren't hanging out in Beaverton, Oregon, where can they uh, go to find out more about what you're up to? Uh, go check me out online at uh, www.cosmguitars.com. Got a full website there and all kinds of information out there. Cool. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I appreciate it. This is Charles for Brewing Guitar.com. <laughs>